everybody. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Jim Bukar. Welcome to the show. We've got two neat guests here today. Uh, a couple actors, a little different than we've do, done in the past. We usually mix it up with a politician or a psychologist or an astrologist and an actor. We've got two actors or actor, actor or an actress. There's sometimes a bit of a problem with that. Later on, Jim Callahan from Charles in Charge. Um, we're going to talk up to the latter half of the show. But right now we've got Shelley Herman, featured cast member of Off the Wall, the kind of ensemble group show that airs on Saturday nights. Uh, the times change occasionally. I think it's 1.30 now, but we'll talk mm -hmm. about the times and channel later. Um, Shelley has produced, she's acted, she's written, uh, and she's all really started with her work, as I understand, as an NBC page um, years ago. Well, not that long ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. <laughs> Holy smoke, who would believe it? Then she got into an L.A. improv group. I'm not sure about the timeline here, but she was at the L.A. improv group and still is with the L.A. improv group, uh, Mice, which I've seen several times and which is terrific. And she's done lots of other things, which we can talk a little bit about, and we'll talk about her future direction. Welcome, Shelley. Let's Here's talk about your it. intro. <laughs> two neat actors. <laughs> well, two, two inspiring, versatile actors, right? Comedians. I, well, I guess there's a difference between a comedian and an actor, huh? You see that? Not you do really. That. Um, I think that uh, both uh, take the same amount of focus and attention to do, and I think the people that do drama wish to do comedy and the ones that do comedy wish yeah. to do drama yeah and uh if you got it you got it you do it well you've mastered the hard part because everybody i have talked to really everybody 100 percent has said uh in the acting profession some, said, some of those neat comedy. actors that you know <laughs> some of those pretty <laughs> peachy keen actors <laughs> who said that that comedy is the hard part and once they master comedy you can do the you can do the crying on cue and the drama and the heavy acting more easily you know, and maybe you don't see that because you, you've started with the comedy. But they say, once you've got the comedy, it, it's, it's a piece of cake kind of the rest of the way. You know? Yeah. Know, maybe that isn't true. You know? yeah, it is, and it, it's helped me a lot, too, because I think it's, as far as in social situations and things, and having worked with the Mice Improv Comedy Group, I've been with them for five years now. Yeah. It's a real good social forum to meet other people in the industry rather than being an individual actor out there saying, come see me in a showcase or you know you try to meet up with these people in their offices they're reluctant to do that sometimes but if you say hey listen we're doing a show come down to geo's thursday exactly. night have some drinks relax and they'll see eight real talented actors exactly. working and yeah. it's a fun show you know you've seen it sure and you do all kinds of different things it, it kind of slides as we talked a little bit before into away from comedy into more dr well kind of semi-dramatic things you know, it's when you said you, you play the, the best bitchiest wife or whatever. <laughs> you know, some of that borders almost, I guess, a melodrama. I don't know. You know it is it, melodramatic. It is a the, mix. With the type of improv comedy we do, it's no set bits like some of the other groups in town. Yeah. And the average scene will probably run a minute or less. And we might do 70, 75 different setups sure. in the evening. Sure. And what you have to do is stereotype a character very quickly. So when somebody says, um, running into your ex-wife on the street, we don't want to just run into your ex-wife. We want to see what that ex-wife is really like. So yeah. you, you, you tend to be bigger. And it was, it was kind of difficult going from doing mice to, to doing off the wall because I'm so used to working on the stage where everything is bigger than life. And to kind of pare it down a little bit and work with the camera and make your movement smaller and things. Exactly. It's more and not subtle, screw up huh? your face like Lucy Ricardo all the yeah, time when you're working. Exactly. Uh, it, it is a little different. Yeah, that's, well, that's true. Cause you, that's, you know, the same thing with the theater. I mean, you're, you're on a stage. You're usually probably not, you know, playing to an audience as big as, I don't know, I had somebody on, uh, Don Simeon from, from Singing in the Rain, Pantages. Uh -huh. And there he said, everything is exaggerated. You have to speak louder. And you, as you say, you screw up your face. Mm -hmm. And the television is just like that cooler medium. And I guess film, I don't know, film would be kind of right, uh, kind of a compromise between the two, right in the center. Well, I'll tell you what, be, beyond the, the film and tape, I think the important thing is getting the job first. And I find that yeah. with improv comedy, acting as well as writing, if you're put into a situation with a casting director, the reading that you give is very dissimilar to the actual performance you're going to give. The reading you give, you've got energy, you're glad to be there, you're intense, you're excited, whatever it is, yeah, but you're selling yeah. yourself. You are your own fuller brush. Yeah, exactly. And you sell yourself there. And that's what the Mice Improv Comedy Group has let me do for writing as well as acting. Well, it, Off the Wall came from Mice, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't one of the talent coordinators or somebody see you on that or yeah, somehow that? Was, that? Uh, that was, uh, I, I tend to, I used Lucy Ricardo before, I, I tend to get accused of having a Lucy Ricardo mentality. Uh, I'd seen an ad in the trade paper saying that there was this new comedy show happening called Off the Wall. Yeah. 
I called the office and said, hi, I'm a writer. They said, yeah, you and 10 million other people. I said, well, why don't you come down, see the group, and see if you like anything. Well, they came down. They loved us. And as a result of me trying to solicit a writing job, I then became one of the stars of the show. So you've never, have you done any writing for Off the Walls? Has it just been strictly uh, I've done to the it, it contributed some sketches, but when you're an ensemble like that, four women, four men, yeah. we're all throwing ideas over a table at one time or another. We're all yeah. good friends, too. And I, I'm so happy because I read the backstage at Saturday Night Live book and talking about all the feuding that went on and the drugs and all the exactly. nonsense. Sure. And we still all talk on the phone all the time. And Isn't there, it, with every group, though, every class I've ever had or any sports group or anything I've been involved in, there was always seemed to be like one real, you know, one real like, jerk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> not always, a neat person. Yeah, always some real, real, you know, so bad. Yeah, I, oh, I can't, I can't speak any good words. Every word that comes to my mind is vulgar. Well, let everybody at home make up their Kelly. own word. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, every is always had like a bad apple, and you don't have any. Uh, any no, nasty because people, I th huh? no, because I That's think the surprise. nice part about mice as an as a, an ensemble yeah. and off the wall is the fact that as actors we're all working together, and sometimes it's us against them if we don't think something's funny we go to the producers okay. on mass and they wanted okay. us at one point to take really goony pictures where we're all sticking our tongues out and putting our fingers behind each other's head and looking stupid yeah and we all just said no good yeah, the power and we had it wasn't so much power it was the unity it was the ensemble unity and well, uh, i democracy. think it shows through on the show yeah yeah, well, because Saturday Night Live, um, just to digress a minute, I remember, yeah, I've heard about the infighting, but I heard like on Mondays, their opening meetings, they would actually talk, I guess similar to what you do, uh, they'd throw out ideas, and basically what the cast members came up with, is what I have been led to believe, was basically the show. You know, they had writers, mm -hmm. but Aykroyd and Chase and all these guys came up with is pretty much what they went with, you know, as it, as it developed. That's kind of what we brought to Off the Wall also. There are certain people on the show that had characters that they did. You've interviewed Louise Duart in the past. John Rourke, has, he does a lot of impressions. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are certain characters, like uh, Terry Kaiser does a weasel. Now you, he can, the weasel can be a used car salesman, insurance salesman, whatever. But everybody okay. had certain <laughs> characteristics that they brought into it. Okay. And it, sometimes the writers would fashion it around that, or otherwise we'd say, you know, I usually do this bit. You know, where I'm playing Dr. Ruth and she uh, owns a hot dog stand, whatever. Okay, yeah. And, yeah. and, and you do it, <laughs> enough said, okay? Oh, the potentials are endless with that. Did you play her? Do you play Dr. Ruth? Louise has Louise done does. it on the show, but I do it when I'm with the improv group. <laughs> right. she, is, she is just, uh, you know, fodder for great material. I mean, she, yeah, much she maligned is. woman, a poor lady, but she is funny. Oh, so, so there's a little spirit of collaboration then is what I'm getting Very much to. so. Okay. You that's have to. Okay. You have to. Now, off the walls on Saturday nights, right? Mm hmm We'll do your late evenings. KCOP. Okay. Write letters. Make phone calls. KCOP 13. Okay. Uh-huh. Now, it all started, I want to get this picture into the, of the, oh, kind yeah. of the king of comedy. It all started with Johnny, huh? You were yeah. there, you're on the back. What's he doing? Can you get focusing on this? That's what we used to ca playfully call Hump the Band. Uh, he calls it Stump the Band. Yeah. And uh, I was handing out <laughs> envelopes uh, to some uh, poor schnook who was trying to sing a song. Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen him do that in a while. Okay, well, so there you are in the center, kind of. Uh, not quite as blonde, but still <laughs> as uh, youthful and perky as I could be. You look great. <laughs> yeah, and that's a look real at good those legs. Whoa, look at that little, little kneecap action. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See that? Yes, little Mary Hart legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's when I was a page. <laughs> that's great. So what did that? Uh, what what did that get you into? Basically, the NBC page. What was the next step after that? Well, you meet a lot of people. The, the, the page staff <clears throat> and the whole program there doesn't guarantee you a job. What you do is you make yeah. contacts that hopefully enable you to go out into the regular business world and meet people. Uh, I, in fact, I was at uh, Chasen's just last night with a group of ten pages Chasen's I worked with. Whoa. Oh, well, we were just all dressing up in our, like, we look like our parents. We were dressing up in funny clothes, trying to look like grown-ups there. And yeah. Had a huge tab when we left. But we, we all stayed close pack. friends. Yeah. The mice pack. No, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So, yes. so you meet, you, you, so you meet, meet people. people. I've, I've got real good friends. Uh, when I started working on Off the Wall, I called a friend of mine, Harry Flynn, and said, I'm doing this. Can you help? And he was wonderful. Okay. Uh, lots of people like that. And then it's real fun, too, because I've done a lot of writing, and I'll find myself at different production offices and things and I'll be there trying to act like a grown-up and saying here's my writing samples and I can do the job for you and some will go 
didn't you used to be a page? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it comes back, you know, so I, the, one of the few, the proud, the one who wore the polyester. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well, NBC, great. It looks good on the resume, huh? Great credential. Yeah, and it's, it's a nice fraternity mm. of people. A lot, yeah. of people were, a lot of people were pages. In fact, you know, Craig Harms, you probably don't know, he was one of the people, I was there at Baroni's when I saw you, and Mice, by the way. Anyway, he used to mm -hmm. work at NBC, he was there for years, good friend. But, um, yeah, for, for viewers, you know, we get a lot of people, younger folks especially seem to, if I get any letters or calls, it's usually from those people. Uh -huh. And what they would probably want to know from you is how, how, you know, what to do. I guess it's basically that, meeting people and networking. And, uh, and Harry Flynn as well. I met Harry Flynn about two years ago, or, or mm -hmm. more than that, at some, some get-together. And we talked for just a moment. He gave me a little advice that told him I wanted to get into a talk show. Anyway, I hadn't seen him then for like a year, but I kept his name, you know, and I kind of mm -hmm. remember the guy. Then we got back in touch, and he's been great, great for me, too. He's gotten many people out for me. And he's been a big terrific. Help, so it's, you know, it's all knowing people. I guess people is where it starts, so. Okay, so we have mice, and mice appears all over. We're primarily at Geo's uh, on Sunset. We're there okay. Thursday nights, uh, and that's been a standing gig for a long time, uh, and hopefully... The best thing to do is just check the paper, like the calendar exactly. section. It says where we're located. Exactly. Okay. And off the wall is uh, Channel 13, Saturday nights. Okay. And, uh, oh, and I also, to little plug a Rooney, I wrote a Linda and Carter makeup tape. Oh, that's right. Okay. Linda Carter that's makeup tape, Secrets to the Perfect Makeup. Now, what is, what is, is that kind of tongue-in-cheek? I mean, is this no. serious? Or no, is this you know what's real nice is that I've been very privileged to have worked, you know, in the industry and seen some of the best people in town do makeup. And when, I, when Linda first had the idea to do it, I thought, like, oh, when this woman rolls out of bed looking better than half of America, yeah. you know, yeah. why would she do a makeup tape? Yeah. But it's very simple ways to do your makeup. Okay. Some basic, and it's available all over town now. And okay. So it's, it's uh, you know, on videotape, whatever you call home it. Home video. Okay, home video. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll have to watch for that. And you, you did it? What do you mean? You hosted it? I co-wrote it. it. All right, good. Are you on it? Do you actually appear? No. Doing no. The, uh, Me the appear without makeup? makeup? No. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> so you just wrote it and mm -hmm. produced it and let it let. Uh, let I wrote. I wrote that one. I'm pro I'm uh, working in producing a pilot for uh, Dr. Laura Schlesinger. In okay. fact, we've completed the pilot yeah. called Conflicts. Okay. And I'm working on a show right now for Oak Ridge Productions called Secrets, okay. all about metaphysics. Whoa, that's yes. interesting, huh? It has been great. Okay, we talked a little bit about that in my last show. Uh, and, and again, I don't know which, whatever cable company this particular show appears on. Sometimes they run my phone number and address, sometimes they don't. Uh, at any rate... Well, they run my you, phone number and address is what I want to know. Well, they can get through me. Through me, they can get all the... They're Harry Flynn, your publicist, or we'll get them straight in touch with you because I've got a file on everybody. Uh-huh. Like the CIA here out of my, out of my place. So, well, all kinds uh, of neat anyway, actors. Uh, all kinds of neat actors. <laughs> And neat politicians and all these people. <laughs> what, what's the what, what's the matter with neat actors? I mean, that's as a, opposed that's to sloppy a, actors, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you from here originally? Are you a California native? Uh, born in Philadelphia, but uh, was reared okay. in uh, Calabasas. All right. Well, because the word neat is is popular back there. You know, it was like super neat. Wow, those went with each decade. Groovy. Those super. Yeah, groovy and all those things. Twitching. Uh, you wrote for some game shows as well, which mm -hmm. I never heard of that one. That was a few years ago. And yeah. I guess you wrote for more game shows. I think you were quoted than you'd care to remember. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, my primary, I, I worked with, uh, the first gig was with Larry Hovis on Liars Club. Okay. And uh, that I mean, was my first writing job. Okay. And that was a lot of fun and gone on to try to get some game shows going as well.